I'm Anil Kumar. In this playlist, we have few examples where chain rule will be practiced. The question here is, find dy dx at the indicated value of x. The function is y equals to 5u square minus 2u, where u is equal to x plus 1 over square root x, and the point of interest is x equals to 1. Now, dy dx could be written as dy du times du dx. That is the chain rule. We wrote it like this since we are given y as a function of u and u as a function of x. Right? So let's find what is dy du. So y is 5u square minus 2u. So we can write here dy du is equals to 10u minus 2. And let's also find what is du dx. u is x plus 1 over square root x, right? So you can write du dx as derivative of this function. Derivative of x is 1 plus. Now here, you could apply either the quotient rule or the product rule. Whenever there is square root, I prefer to apply the quotient rule. So denominator square is x, derivative of 1 is 0, so the first term is 0, minus 1 time derivative of square root x, which is 1 over square root x, 2 square root x, 1 over 2 square root x. Is it okay? So that is what the derivative is. So you could write this as 1 plus minus 1 over minus 1 over 2 x square root x. Is that okay? So you could write it like this. Now, what is dy dx? dy dx is product of these two. Right? So we can write dy dx is equals to 10u minus 2 times 1 plus minus 1 over 2x square root x. Right? You need not even write this as 3 over 2. We need to find dy dx at x equals to 1. Now we need to, before plugging in 1, we have to find what u is when x is 1, right? So from the given condition, we know u is x plus 1 over square root x. So what is u when x is 1? We can write this as 1 plus 1 over, you can write square root of 1, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So at x equals to 1, u equals to 2. So we'll substitute this value of 2 in our equation, right? So we get dy dx at x equals to 1 is 10 times 2 minus 2 plus 1. We can write minus here, 1 over x is 1. So we get 1 over 2. And that gives us 20 minus 2, which is 18, plus 1 minus half, which is half, right? So that gives us common denominator is 2, 36 plus 1 or 37 over 2. So 37 over 2 is the derivative of the function with respect to x at x equals to 1. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.